everybody agree and say, Our God is not dead. Pwede nyo po ba tingnan yung katabi nyo? Nakilala nyo po ba yung katabi nyo? Yan. Pwede nyo pong kumustahin at sabihin, ako'y nagagalak na kasama kita ngayon. Amen. Sige po, tayo po'y magpupuri sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. We glorify and we praise you, Jesus. Woo! Yes, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Ang kailangan ko ay pag-ibig mo O Diyos sa buhay ko ito Ang kagalakan ko ay kalakasan ko Ikaw ang nais ko Ikaw lamang ang pumulin Jesus! Ang pangalan mo'y kadakilain Wala na sa'yo'y may hahamping Ang awit ko iyong tinggit Kapag sa'yo'y sumasang Laging ang aking nadarapa Sa tuwing kapiling ka Ang puso ko'y sumisigla Kapag sa'yo'y sumasang ba Yes, Jesus! We glorify your name, Panginoon! Ang kailangan ko ay pag-ibig mo O Diyos sa buhay ko ito Ang kagalakan mo, kalakasan ko Ikaw ang nais ko Ikaw lamang ang pupulinin Ang pangalan mo'y nadakilain Wala na sa'yo'y may hahamping Ang awit ko'y iyong tinggit Kapag sa'yo'y sumasamba Langit ang aking nadarama Sa tuwing kapiling ka Ang puso ko'y sumisigla Kapag sa'yo'y sumagitong damang Ang pupulit Ang pangalan mo'y nadakilain Wala na sa'yo'y may ahambit Ang awit ko'y iyong tinggi Kapag sa'yo'y sumasamba Lagi ang aking nadarama Sa tuwing kapiling ka Ang puso ko'y sumisigla Kapag sa'yo'y sumasamba Lagi ang aking nadarama Sa tuwing kapiling ka Ang puso ko'y sumisigla Kapag sa'yo'y Praise the name, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Panginoon, sa umaga pong ito, Lord, we surrender everything to you, Lord. Aami pong mga puso, Panginoon, inaalay po namin, Lord, even aami pong buhay. Yes, Jesus, we praise you, we glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Nag-iisang taglay Ilalaan bawat saglit Upang ibigin ka Nang walang humpay Kung mayroon lamang ako Sa libong buhay Hindi pagkakain Lahat sa'yo Isang taglay Ilalaan Bawat saglit Upang ibigin ka Nang walang Humpay Gaya ng dagat Na hindi Napapagal Sa pag-alon Ang puso ko ay Sa'yo nagmamahal Sa habang Tanging kayamanan ko Ikaw ay sambahin Wagas na pagsintay iyong hindi Kalakip ng awit Isang taglay Ilalaan bawat saglit Upang ipigil ka Nang walang upay Kaya na dagat na hindi na papagal Sa pag-alo Ang puso ko ay sa'yo Sa pag-ado, ang puso ko ay sa'yo nagmamahal Sa habang panahon, natatali ka'y manan ko Ikaw ay sambahin, wagas na pagsinta Iyong pinigil, kalakit ang awitin Na hindi napapagal Sa pag-alo Ang puso ko ay sa'yo Nagmamahal Sa habang panahon Kung gaya ng dagat Na hindi napapagal Sa pag-alo Ang puso ko ay sa'yo Nagmamahal Sa habang panahon Kung gaya ng dagat Na Bye. 
Sinasamba ka namin, pinapapurihan ka namin po, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, God, at dinalan mo na naman po ang bawat isa dito na ligtas sa anumang panganib po, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, O God, din po sa aming buhay na patuloy niyo pong sinusustain po, Panginoon, dahil sa matindi niyong habag, awa at pagmamahal po sa amin. At sa oras na ito po, Panginoon, um, Nataas ay nagpapasiyasat din po kami sa aming mga pagkakasala po, Panginoon. Ano man po ang nakikita niyo pong uh, pagkakamali sa aming pag-iisip po, Panginoon. Pag, uh, sa aming puso po, Panginoon. Aming nagawa po, Panginoon. Pakalinising niyo po, Panginoon. At uh, nawa po, Panginoon. Um, lukuban niyo po kami at uh, ng iyong banal na dugo po palagi po, Panginoon. Para hindi na po ulit maulit ang mga pagkakasala nito po, Panginoon. Salamat po, O God, at sa oras na ito po, Panginoon, itinataas din po namin ang aming, mga, ang aming kapatid po, Panginoon, na yung gagamitin sa umabagang ito po, Panginoon, si Ate Nurin po, Panginoon. Basbasan niyo po siya po, O God, langisan niyo po ang kanyang labi po, Panginoon, na nawa po, Panginoon, kaluupan niyo lamang at uh, ang bawat salita na kanyang sasambay din po, Panginoon, ay manggagaling lamang po sa iyo po, Panginoon, at wala na pong ibang maitataas po, po Panginoon, kundi ikaw lamang po Panginoon sa kanyang buhay po Panginoon. At ganun din po God, ina-acknowledge din po namin ang banal na Espiritu po Panginoon na sa aming kalagitnaan po God, na siyang magtuturo po sa amin po Panginoon. At ganun din po God, lukuban niyo po ang panambahan na ito po Panginoon ng iyong banal na dugo po Panginoon. At na wala po makapenetrate o makapasok po Panginoon na gawa ng jablo po Panginoon. Salamat po o God. Salamat po. Ganon din po o God ang aming internet connections po Panginoon sa Zoom po Panginoon. Nawa maging smooth lamang po Panginoon. Salamat po o God. Ganon din po o God. Kaming mga tagapaghinig sa umagang ito po Panginoon. Lord God, uh, maging attentive po sana ang bawat isa po Panginoon. Nawa po Panginoon, hindi lamang po makapaghinig po Panginoon, kundi higit sa lahat, may isa pamuhay po namin ng buong tapat po Panginoon. Salamat po o God, at muli namin pinapanalangin din po Panginoon ang lahat ng gagamitin sa araw na ito po Panginoon. Lord God, umaasa kami at nananampalataya po, Panginoon, na lalabas kami sa panambahan na ito po, Panginoon, ng may panibagong kagalakan sa aming puso po, Panginoon, at higit sa lahat kaligtasan po, Panginoon. Salamat po, God, muli namin pinagkakatiwala ang lahat. At sa iyo lamang po, God, ang pinakamataas na kapurihan, pasasalamat at pagsamba sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bagandang umaga po sa bawat isa. Good morning. Good morning po. Good morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I've been here in Qatar for almost 13 years. And to be honest, hindi ko po lahat kilala, lahat ng tao na nandito sa Qatar, particularly mga Filipinos. In as much as I want to know everyone, I uh, hindi po yata 
maare dahil uh, napakarami na pong Filipinos. There are lots of Filipinos out here, I mean here in Qatar right now. But this morning, let's start here. Amen. Napakahirap na kapag meron kang gustong maalalang isang tao, ang sasabi mo, yung kulot, yung maputi, at ang masakit, yung mataba. <laughs> Diba? Instead of knowing the names, diba? Ah, si ate, si ate din, si, si kuya uh, Manny, or anyone na may, may, may identify natin by names. Amen. Amen po. Amen. Then calling them by their structure or by, minsan nga, pangit pa yung nakikita natin. Diba? So this morning, I just want to challenge everyone to go around and find five persons, their names. Know five persons through their names. Sige po, we can start now. Ay, walang gustong tumayo. <laughs> pa, yung hindi nyo po kilala, please. Hindi nyo pa po nakikilala. Yun. Yun, may nakilala na. Amen. So finally, after long years here in Qatar, meron na kayong limang taong kilala. Amen. Hindi lang dahil uh, nakita nyo, pagdating nyo sa bahay, Han, nakita ko sa suk yung Kasama natin sa church ng isang linggo, yung medyo kalbo na. Ouch! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yung medyo, ano, yung, yung maliit lang, yung... Well, at least now, ah, si brother, yan. Yung floor director natin na medyo mataba, pero cute siya. <laughs> Walita ko, anak daw yun ni Ate Noreen. Ah, okay. So, oh. This morning, this is related to the topic that I want to share with you this morning. Um, napakahirap po na sa mga panahon ngayon ay meron tayong ganitong attitude. Or sad to say, uh, kaugalian or I don't know, marami nagsasabi, nakalakhang ko na to eh. I've grown up with this kind of, of character. So, this morning we want to break or overcome this thing called apathy. Apathy. Sabihin nga po natin, apathy. Again, apathy. So, merong isang professor who asked his class in philosophy class, sabi niya, which do you think is the bigger problem in this world right now? Is it ignorance or apathy? And one student answered, I don't know, and I don't care. So, well, it's very rampant. And during the last election, um, ito yung madalas kong naririnig kay Brother Eddie. In encouraging the voters to go out and vote wisely, ito yung madalas niyang sinasabi. But this is, is an old saying na nabanggit na ng isang uh, uh, um, tao before. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. So, 
Sabi ng iba, ba't pa ako boboto? Eh, wala naman magandang pagpipilian sa mga kandidatong yan. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. If we want to complain and we're not voting, then we're doing nothing good for the country. Amen. Amen po. So this morning, let's study the word apathy. Sabi dito, apathy is lack of interest, lack of enthusiasm, or lack of concern. Kaya kanina, sinimulan ko po by asking you to get to know five persons at least, knowing them by name, para paglabas po natin dito, yung pumasok na stranger, ang feeling niya, paglabas niya, hindi na siya feeling stranger, he feel belonged. Amen. Kasi napakahirap sa isang church na papasok, especially, we want to invite more people. And we, who are already in the church, are apathetic, or wala tayong pakialam, or we show no enthusiasm in welcoming the newcomers. How can we entice or invite more or encourage more people to come to church if they can't feel the love, if they can't feel the concern of those people inside the church. Amen po. Napakaagang magsermon ni Ate Norin. Amen. So this morning, we want to overcome apathy. We want to conquer this apathetic attitude that we have kahit nakakilala na tayo sa Lord. Actually, this um, attitude has been rampant kahit nung pang Old Testaments and even in the New Testaments, particularly dito sa word na binigay ng Lord kay Haggai. That time, sabi dito, this is what the Lord Almighty says. These people say, the time has not yet come to rebuild the house. The Lord's house. Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Is it time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house remains a ruin? So the, those people, they were apathetic na ipagawa o rebuild yung house ng Panginoon while they are comfortably living in their paneled houses. So they don't care. Sad to say, Nung nagkaroon ng malaking problema ang church, some of us didn't care. Some of us just shrugged our shoulder and shrugged our shoulder and who cares? Sila-sila na naman yan. But the fact that we belong to a church, we should be concerned. Amen. We should have shown love. We should have shown concern. Instead of just shying away and not attending or just going out or leaving the church, dahil we don't care. And trying to find a church that we will fit in and who knows later on. Amen. This morning, I just want to talk about the book of Nehemiah. Marami na tayong narinig about Nehemiah, the rebuilding, the reviving of the people of, of uh, uh, Israel through the prophet Nehemiah. This morning, meron lang akong gustong i-emphasize, -e 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 and that is how to overcome apathy through learning from the book of Nehemiah chapter 2. So let's start reading. In the month of Nisan, actually Nisan po is uh, this time of, uh, yung sa time natin is month of uh, November. In the 12th year of King Arta, Artaxerxes, Artaxerxes, when wine was brought for him, I took the wine and gave it to the king. I had not been sad in his presence before, so the king asked me, why does your face look sad when you are not ill? This can be nothing but sadness of heart. I was very much afraid. But I said to the king, may the king live forever. Why should my face not look sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed? 
by fire. The king said to me, what is it you want? Then I prayed to God of heaven, and I answered the king. If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in his sight, let him send me to the city in Judah where my ancestors are buried so that I can rebuild it. Then the king, when the, with the queen sitting beside him, asked me, how long will your journey take, and when will you get back? It pleased the king to send me, so I set a time. I also said to him, if it pleases the king, may I have letters to the governors of Trans-Euphrates so that they will provide me safe conduct until I arrive in Judah. And may I have a letter to Asaph, keeper of the royal park, so he will give me timber to make beams for the gates of the citadel by the temple and for the city. For the city wall and for the residence, I will occupy. And because the gracious hand of my God was on me, the king granted my request. So I went to the governors of Trans-Euphrates and gave them the king's letters. The king had also sent army officers and cavalry with me. Purihin po ang Panginoon sa pagkakabasa ng kanyang salita. Tayo po ay yung sandali. Father God in heaven, we are so pleased and so blessed to be here this morning. We thank you for waking up this early so that we can be here, we can worship you, we can honor you, and we can study your word. We ask, Lord, for the power of the Holy Spirit to be upon your word and to help us understand it through the illumination that you are going to give us this morning. Thank you, Lord, for hiding me under your shadow and let alone your name be exalted right in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Purihin po ang Panginoon. Palapakan po natin ang Diyos. As I have started uh, a while ago about uh, the word apathy or the character that we want to break in us, somehow we have this character. We might not admit it, but we have. The fact that uh, there are poor and there are rich, meaning there are really people who are still living apathetic about the condition of the people around them. Amen. Naisip ko lang, kung ang lahat siguro halimbawa uh, magtutulong-tulungan, especially sa, Filip sa Philippines, na, na lahat ng mga mahirap na bumibili ng, ng Louis Vuitton or ng uh, Hermes bag or ng mga mamahaling uh, kagamitan would share those monies that they, they used to buy, those luxurious whatever. Would share it to the poor people. Siguro wala ng poor sa Pilipinas, no? Amen? And here they are bragging about what they have, bragging about what they possessed, bragging about what they have acquired. And sa tabi ng bahay nila, there are poors, poor people who are trying to survive with a meal sa isang araw. Why? Because of apathy. This morning, Let's turn to the book of this Nehemiah and let's study five steps to conquer or to counteract this giants of apathy. Amen? Amen po. Amen. Are you here with me? Amen. Number one is we need to know the facts. We have to get the information. We need to know what's happening. Are we aware of what's happening around us? Minsan nakakainis manood ng TV, you no? Know? Lalo na yung balita sa Pilipinas. Lahat na lang pagtaas ng gasolina, lahat na lang pagtaas ng bilihin, lahat na lang patayan, lahat na lang aksidente. But somehow we need to know what's going on. Kahit nandito tayo, kahit we're a thousand miles away from the Philippines, we need to know. We need to get information. We have to find a way where we could get somehow the idea of what's going on because 
pagbalibalig ta rin man tayo, magbis man tayo ng pangkataring damit, we are still Filipinos. Amen. Pangu pa rin ang ilong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sabi ko nga doon sa kaibigan ko, kasi meron silang yung mga Filip- mga Filipina, yung mga katarim babae, di ba? Meron silang nilalagay na black. Alam niyo yan, yung parang pinaka-veil nila. Hindi siya nalalaglag. Meron siyang, <laughs> hindi kuya, hindi yung bakal, walang bakal, yung cloth lang. So sabi ko, ah, kaya sa kanila binigay yung ganitong costume kasi tratama sa ilong, hindi malalaglag. Eh kung sa Filipino, laging laglag. <laughs> Di ba? Itatali pa ng mahigpit para yung sa mask. So what I'm trying to say is, No matter how we dressed up like other people or like other nationalities, we're still our Filipinos and we have to show concern to what's going on in the Philippines. So, etong si Nehemiah, in Nehemiah chapter 1, uh, was visited by his brother and some people who came from Judah. At sabi niya dito, and I questioned them about the Jewish remnant that had survived the exile, and also about Jerusalem. Knowing Nehemiah, he's not, he hasn't been to Jerusalem. He was a product of uh, slavery, nung, nung, um, uh, yung pag-captivity. Doon na siya pinanganak sa Persia. He grew up there until he became a cupbearer. Bakit ang bilis? <laughs> Now, after that, when he, um, he asked his brother, ano na ba nangyayari ngayon dun sa Jerusalem? What's going on? So he was concerned. He, wala naman siyang pakialam dapat eh, kung ano na nangyayari. Ang sarap na ng trabaho niya. But that time, he asked what's going on from his brother. At sabi nga ng mga kapatid, nung kapatid niya and those that are with them, with, with his brother, ay, uh, there's a problem with Jerusalem. The, 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 the wall still lies in ruin and the gates are burned down. So, merong uh, uh, problema. So, he... got that information firsthand from his brother. Hindi dahil, hindi sa mga marites. So, nang galing yun mismo sa, mga, sa kapatid niya at dun sa mga taong, mga lalaki na nang galing mismo sa Jerusalem and who visited them. Being a cupbearer of the Persian king was considered the most trusted position at the time. second to the king's wife. So yun ang position ni, ni uh, Nehemiah being the cupbearer of King Arta Sources. Kung tatanungin nyo kung sino si King Arta Sources, sige, bigyan ko kayo ng konting trivia. He is the stepson of Queen Esther. So yung napangasawa ni Queen Esther Dahil pinalitan niya si Queen Vashti. So naging si Queen Esther. At ang anak ni King Ahoroseros <laughs> ay si King Artaxerxes. Sorry for the uh, mga words. I'm not so uh, good at the tongue-twisting name. So I just want you I just want you to picture out na Nehemiah was already occupying a very prestigious position at that particular place being the cupbearer he has to deliver the the wine the food para dun sa king and before doing that he has to to taste it himself first so kung may poison he die first And of course, being a cupbearer, he has to be uh, good in uh, having 
I mean, good fellowshipping with the other people. Dahil baka mamaya yung, yung mga tao eh, lagyan ng lason nga yung food at siya ang una nga mamamatay. So he was uh, jolly. He was, he was good. He was friendly. And then that time, even in that kind of position that pwede namang hindi na siya makialam sa affairs ng Judah or ng, ng Jerusalem, but still, having that kind of, of uh, heart that is so concerned about his root, being a Jew, prompted him to ask, what's going on in Jerusalem? A segue ko lang. Nung time na ako ay nagsisimula pa lang sa Christian life ko, sa Arroyo High School, laging nababanggit si Brother Eddie kasi uh, um, um, coming from a political uh, ang tawag doon? Background. Bago siya na born again. So every time, every mga sermons niya, may mga, may mga touch ng politika. Until dumating yung time na ito nga, hanggang pumasok sila sa politics, si, si Brother Joel pumasok sa politics, and some are, some people are saying, bakit kailangan pa nilang pum- makisaw-saw sa politika? Bakit kailangan pa nilang pumasok sa politics? Magpastor na lang, sumunod na lang sa, sa konong pinagagawa ng Lord. But come to think of it, being the salt of the earth, di ba tayo dapat yung may mga hawak, may mga posisyon na hinahawakan sa government? Amen. If we want a godly government, di ba dapat it should be run by godly people? Amen. Amen. We are praying for, Lord, let there be a godly uh, uh, guidance for these people. How can these people receive guidance from the Lord if they, they don't know God? And they don't want to hear from God because they're so engrossed with political, their political agendas. Wherein if a true Christian will go into a position in the politics or in the government, he will incorporate what is in the Bible, what is God's will into his running the government. Amen. So, nasa, nasa ko lang. Amen. Kasi we have to understand na baka mamaya we are being called into maging barangay chairman, maging oh, pinipigilan natin yung, yung anak natin to join the politics in, from, from yung sa mga simula lang, maging barangay tanod or wag lang barangay tagay. Uh, ano pa ba isa? Counselor, di ba? So that we can somehow be the salt of that rotting world or rotting Uh, era or rotting uh, place ruled by evil people and we shy away. Sila na lang yan. Pera-pera lang naman yan sila eh. Amen? So that time Nehemiah was so concerned about what's happening in Judah or in Jerusalem, that particular uh, situation. So The next thing that we should do to break from the apathy is to have this reaction. We need to let the facts that we heard motivate us to do something and it should steer us up. Amen. Amen. Hindi yung narinig mo lang, ah, okay. Kaya lunch na tayo. Ay, ang taas na pala ng gasolina sa Pilipinas. Parang gusto ko na ibenta yung sasakyan ko. But you know, when Nehemiah heard the story, the sad story of what is happening that time in Jerusalem, he sat down and 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 sat down and wept. For some days I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. In, Jeremiah, in Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 4. Hindi niya lang sinabi, ah, really? Talaga lang? Ganun pala nangyayari? Buti nga sa kanila, parusa sa kanila ng Diyos. 
Kasi they were disobedient people. They were stiff-necked generation. Dapat lang that they should suffer. But no, kahit lalaki siya, see, he sat down and he wept. Hindi lang siya, he cried, he wept. Amen? He was so devastated hearing the news about the things that are happening that time in Jerusalem, having a broken walls and a burned gates, which should not be the case. Kasi sa panahon na yon, ang isang bansa na walang walls, walang gates ay vulnerable sa mga tao sa labas. Amen. Yung bahay nyo kaya walang walls, walang pinto. Amen? Di ba tayo, ang gaganda pa nga ng mga pinagagawang pinto ngayon eh. Talaga yung mga walls natin, double walls pa, may mga ganyan-ganyan pa o, oh, di ba? So seeing a chosen people living in a place that there is wall, no walls was a sad thing. to hear for Nehemiah. Kaya he, he, he sat down nung narinig niya yun, napaupo siya, and he wept. Hindi lang he cried, he wept. And he mourned for days, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. Maraming sinabi ni, ni Nehemiah, I can't, I can't take this. This is too much. Amen? What about us? Pag meron tayong nababalitaan, that's something that that concerns our brethren, something that concerns our loved ones, something that concerns our even our company. Do we do something or ay boss ko kasi ganyan naman talaga yun eh, buti nga. Ay hindi mo alam kasama ka doon sa company na yun. Amen. You're cursing your company but you belong to that company. Amen. So, we have to have a reaction that will really stir us up to pray and to mourn and to fast and lift it up to God, the Lord, this is what's going on. And I don't know what to do. Amen? Amen po. Amen. So, it's just... Um, Maybe makita natin napaka-emotional naman ni Nehemiah. Akala natin si si Jeremiah lang, the weeping prophet, ang emotional. But Nehemiah is also an uh, emotional because he is being touched by the Holy Spirit, by by God na magkaroon ng ganong pagmamahal sa kanyang bayan, sa kanyang bansa. Amen. Amen. And then, uh, so when Nehemiah heard, heard the problem, he wants something to be done. So that uh, led him to prayer. So number three is intercession. Upon hearing the situation, upon hearing the problem, immediately uh, Nehemiah prayed. He interceded. Hindi na siya nag-atubili, hindi na siya nag, nag, nag-isip pa na Ako, sino kaya makakasama ko sa prayer meeting? Sino kaya makakasama kong mag, ano ngayon, mag-fast? Sino kaya makakasama kong mag-24 hours uh, uh, prayer and fasting or 21 days prayer and fasting para sa problema namin to? He did not wait. Right there and then he prayed. Amen? In verse 5 of chapter 1, sabi dito, Then I said, Lord, the God of heaven, the great and awesome God who keeps His covenant of love, With those who love him and keeps his commandments, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servants is praying before you day and night for your servants, the people of Israel. He immediately interceded. He immediately prayed because that is what we are supposed to do. Amen. Amen. The book of Nehemiah is a book of prayer. It started with a prayer and it ends up in prayer. And for 12 times, Nehemiah prayed during the entire book. So he started with this prayer. 
Nakita niya yung sitwasyon. He 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 came to know what's the matter, the 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 problem, and he realized that the thing, the the reason why Jerusalem still, the walls of Jerusalem still lies in ruin, is because of the thing that they have done. Sa panginoon. Pero hindi sinabi ni Nehemiah na uh, it's okay, Lord, that they are suffering this because. They deserve this. No. As a, as a matter, he, he even confessed the sins and he included himself. Kahit hindi siya part ng generation na nagkasala kaya na na, na cast or na, na, na dispersed ang ang maraming Israelites sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo or they were scattered. They were taken into captivity because of their being stiff-necked, because of their disobedience, because of them worshiping other gods. And he, 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 he has nothing to do with it, to, to come to think of it. Amen. He is not part of that generation, but being a Jew, he acknowledged that he is part. Sabi niya, I confess the sins. We Israelites. We Israelites. Sometimes we, when we pray about the Philippines, Lord, kasi ang daming idolatrous people sa Philippines. Ang daming mga adulterous people sa Philippines. Ang daming mga corrupt. Ang daming mga maraming bisyo. But we are part of that country. Amen. So, when Nehemiah prayed, he confessed the sins and he included himself. He included himself. We have acted very wickedly toward you. We have not obeyed the commands, decrees, and laws you gave your servant Moses. Puro we, we, we. Hindi siya, siya, siya. Siya kasi Lord eh. Kasalanan niya naman yan eh. Instead of pinpointing, instead of finger pointing the blame to us, People, why they are suffering such kind of, of humiliation, yan acknowledge then ni Nehemiah na he is part of the problem and now he wants to be part of the solution. Amen. Amen po. So, he interceded on behalf of the, the people of uh, Jerusalem, he, in, he interceded on behalf of the people of Israel because he has concern. Being a Jew, hindi nawawala sa kanya ang pagmamahal. So he poured out his heart to God. He prays with perspective. Sabi niya, you are the God of heaven. You are great and awesome God. When we, we start praying with perspective, we see our problem smaller. And we see God bigger. Amen. Amen. And when Nehemiah was praying, he, he quoted the words of God that has been uh, said through Moses. Kaya nga pag nagpipray tayo, we quote words of God. Amen. We quote the promises of God. Is it to remind God? Is it to remind God? No, to remind ourselves. Amen. God knows His promises. It is His word. Amen. We, we quote God's word in our prayer because we want to remind ourselves that this is, these are God's promises. We don't quote words, the words of God to remind us. Sabi, eh, sabi ng Lord, put me in remembrance. Yes. But we put, we should put ourselves in remembrance kasi tayo ang madaling makalimot. Ngayon, nasabi ko that God will provide. Mamaya, paglabas mo, wala kang pamasahay. Bakit sa kaya ako kuwang pampamasahay? Amen? We easily forget the promises of God. So, when we pray, the next time we pray, Palitan na natin yung mic. So, okay. So, the next time we pray, 
let us include the word of God and let us uh, acknowledge that He is bigger than all our fears, that He is bigger than all our problems. The, 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 the broken walls is such uh, a big problem for the people. Kasi imagine it, parang 50 years na nando doon yung mga naon ng remnants. Kasi may tatlong wave ang, ang pagbabalik ng mga Israelites sa, sa Jerusalem. Yung first wave with King Zerubbabel, with Zerubbabel, the second with Ezra, and ito nga yung third with Nehemiah. So, kung makikita natin, um, nag, nagkaroon talaga sila ng uh, sobrang takot na mag-build. Kaya, ang tagal-tagal na, hindi pa rin nabibuild yung walls. So, it still rise in ruins. So, ibig sabihin, pinababayaan lang nila. And if they want, they, they, si Ezra, na-build niya na yung, yung, yung temple, pero wasak yung gate. Wasak yung, yung walls. So very vulnerable sila sa maraming attack ng kaaway. Now, number four that we need to do is to get engaged and to take a step. So let's have action. First of all, Nehemiah sat down and wept. Next, he knelt down and prayed. Now he stands up to work. Faith without action is dead. So when he uh, after praying, he got the wisdom from the Lord. So madalas, kaya hindi natin alam ang gagawin natin kasi hindi tayo nag hindi ko alam gagawin ko. Ano ba? Ano ba? Hindi ko gagawin ko. Pwedeng upo ka muna. And then tell it everything to God. And the God of all wisdom will give us peace. Amen? And will give us wisdom and guidance on what to do. Amen? Amen po. Amen. So we need to take action. So ang ginawa ni, ni, ni Nehemiah ay uh, after months of praying, naalala nyo sabi sa kunin ko naman yung salamin ko. Ito sa chapter 1 ng Nehemiah in the month of Kislev. Kislev is November and Nisan pala is the month of March and April. So, four months na nagpipray si Nehemiah about uh, the, the, the situation and after four months, ito na yung action. Siguro sabi sa kanya ng Lord, this is it. So, one time, Nung siya ay magsiserve ng wine sa king, siguro ganyan siya. And then the king noticed him. It is a taboo or a for, it for, they forbid anyone to, to come in the presence of the king na malungkot. It, ang king kailangan mo laging masaya. Amen? Amen. So malungkot si Nehemiah. So maaring for the longest time hindi nakita ng king na malungkot si Nehemiah. So nung pumasok siya bigla, na nag-serve siya ng kanyang wine, na malungkot siya, napansin ka agad siya ng king. And at that moment, it could mean death for Nehemiah. Pero having prayed for four months, having uh, in the presence of God, asking for wisdom on what to do in that situation, May gosig na lang Lord sa kanya. And maaring, sige, ngayon kausapin mo yung hari. At nung lumapit siya doon sa hari, sabi sa kanya na hari, hindi yan sakit eh. Wala kang sakit. Malungkot ka lang. It's a matter of the heart. Something is bothering you. And that time, it... Pave the way for Nehemiah to open up sa king. Amen. Gumawa ng daan ng Panginoon para makapag-open up si Nehemiah doon sa hari upang maisakatuparan ang action na kinakailangan para maganap yung plano na pagre-rebuild ng walls of Jerusalem. 
The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord, and he can turn it just like water. He can turn it wherever he wish to turn. Amen? Amen. So, kinausap lang ni Nehemiah ang hari, and sabi niya, kaya ako malungkot ay dahil so and so, dahil nga dun sa problema. We have to really uh, know kung ano yung dapat natin gawin. We have to take careful uh, attention kung ano yung pinagagawa ng Lord. And that time, maaring iniisip siguro ni, ni maaring nag-uusap ang Panginoon at si Nehemiah, at maaring sinasabi, Paano ko sa Lord, ba, paano ko sasabihin sa hari? Eh, napakahirap makipag-usap sa kanya. Ibibigay ko lang naman yung, ano, yung, yung wine and titaste ko yung food and then alis na ako kasi hindi basta-basta pwedeng lumapit sa presence ng, ng, ng king. But at that time, imagine the king of Persia ask, what is it that you want? Amen? Okay, lapit tayo kay ano. Kishik. Tapos malungkot din tayo. Sabi niya, Le? Sino? Sino? Fishy? Tapos sabi, ah! Wala, mapimalum. <laughs> What is it that you want? Kailangan nyo ng building? O oh, sige, bibigay ko yung isang stadium sa inyo. Yung malapit dito. One day, sabi ko sa inyo, itong mga stadium, may mga purpose yan eh. Hindi lang yan para sa FIFA o sa anumang games. One day, may purpose yan. Amen? Aanhin nila yan. Hindi naman araw-araw, hindi naman for every Friday may football. Pero every Friday may worship service. Amen. Amen. Amen po. So let's claim it. <laughs> What is it that you want? Al tumama stadium? Mamili tayo. Pag masyado sa Lucel, ma ma malayo na 'yon. Mahal na Uber doon. Albet? O siguro <laughs> Bigyan na natin sa Alcor para hindi na sila masyadong malayo. Amen. We have to be bold. So that time, Nehemiah was bold enough to say what is it that he wanted when he was asked. Hindi na, eh, kakayo naman. Huwag na po, king. Caring-caring na naman yung problema. Walls lang naman yun eh. Pero hindi, sabi niya, no, my king. Long live the king. And he told everything that was needed to be done. And Wala. Sabi ng king, ay, ano ba kailangan mo? Ay, siya, ay, sige. Kuya, mga kailangan mo. O, oh, ito, dalhin mo ito. O, oh, ito, ito. Eh, pinadalhan pa siya ng cavalry. Ng army. Ang hinihiling lang naman ni Nehemiah, can I go? Can I take a day off? Pupunta lang ako doon sa Jerusalem. Kung tutusin, baka sabi ng hari, oh, wala kang karilyebo. Sinong titikim ng pagkain ko? Alam nga namang il ilang buwang wala ka, eh, eh, hindi ako kakain. Amen? Pero dali-dali, sabi ng hari, eh, mga ilang araw ka ba doon? Mga ilang araw ba yung journey mo? Imagine, yung isang king na napakataas ng tingin ng maraming tao, siguro yung mga tauhan na nakapaligi doon, na nakatingin sa kanya, naglalala. How did he do that? How can he just say such Thing in front of the king. Lamang hingi ka ng galong favor. But that is the product of the intercession that he did four months ago before taking into action. Amen? Dapat ganun yung ginagawa natin. Amen? Huwag tayong nambira, daluong ng daluong, di na pinagpray. Pag nagkamali, ay mali. Ay, ba't naman ganun, Lord? Sabi niya, anak, nag-pray ka ba? Amen. We have to be interceding first before going into action. 
Amen po? Amen. So, last, yehe, is collaboration. Sabihin nga po natin, collaboration. So sabi dito sa verse 9 ng chapter 2 ng Nehemiah, So I went to the governors of Trans-Euphrates and gave them the king's letters. So he needed some people na makakasama niya. Hindi ito one-man job. Amen. Kaya po tayo may ushering, kaya po may music, kaya po may man, kaya po may, may tag-aalaga ng mga bata. Serving in the church is not a one-man job. Amen. And it needs collaboration. Yun ang ginawa, yun ang kinailangan ni Nehemiah. When he started his work as a builder, he needed help from the people. He needed help from the king. He needed help from the people na dadat na niya doon. Amen. Amen. He needed willing volunteers. Katulad dito sa church. Amen. Every week, ina-announce natin uh, who wants to take part in the ministry, who wants to be part of, of one, yung kumakanta dito sa harapan, who wants to take part dito sa man, yung mga nandito mga guwapo, magagandang nakikita nyo dyan. Sinong gustong uh, um, doon sa gatekeepers? There are so many things that we can do. Para maging part ng ministry. Para maging part to be part of the workers of the, the ministry in, this, in the church. Amen. Amen. We just need to find ways to collaborate. Kaya nga sabi ng Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Andiyan ba Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. That's why we are encouraging everyone to come face to face. Bakit? Tapos na yung COVID. Amen? Para ang hirap na nag-worship ka na nakapadyama ka lang. Amen? Tapos biglang tumayo ka, nakita ka dun sa camera. So we have to collaborate. We have to fellowship. We have to to meet one another para ma-break yung apathy yung nung nandun ka sa, sa, ano, sa, sa, sa Zoom. Parang wala ka lang pakialam. Kumakanta na yun, nag, 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 naglulundaga na yung nasa HP. Ikaw, Okay. Amen. That's why we are encouraging kahit nagsisiksikan tayo dito. Hindi, sa susunod, yung dancer na hindi dito na lang, ganyan-ganyan na lang sila magsasayaw kasi wala ng place. Amen. But we have to maximize the time as we see the day approaching. Ngarin sa susunod, mapipigilan na nila tayong Kumanta, pipigilan na nila tayong magsayaw. That time will come. But for as long as we have the freedom, let's enjoy it worshiping the Lord. Amen. Amen. Anong gagawin natin sa kamay na yan? Anong gagawin natin sa paa na yan? Amen. Anong gagawin natin sa magandang boses na yan if we're not going to use it for the glory of God? Amen. Amen. So we really have to come and fellowship because through this way we can see the dynamic work of Christ. We see, um, we can hear testimonies, we can hear uh, praises, we can hear how this brother and this sister have been healed, have acquired something. You know, that can encourage you as well to believe that God is really true and faithful to His promises. Amen. Amen. So this morning now, perhaps, we have been battling also with spiritual apathy. Hindi lang yung apathy na ugali mo na. Maybe this morning, your heart is growing colder over time. Parang, you don't feel like worshiping the Lord. Parang napilitan ka nga lang. 
na pumunta dito kasi nakakahiya. Leader ako eh. Maaring hirap ka nang ibalik yung dati mong pagsambang ginagawa dati. The things that you used to do when you first came to know Christ, na halos yung Bible mo gula-gulanit na, pero gusto mo lahat na guhit, lahat na may pula, may lahat ng highlighter nilagay mo na sa Bible mo because that's how much you love reading the Word of God. But somehow, something happened, something came along that has distracted you, that has taken your joy of doing the things that you first did when you came to know Christ, the first love that you had in your heart. You know, you're not alone. In Revelations chapter 2, there's this church of Ephesus. And this church of New Testament churches is one of the best. It had great leadership. It was pastored by Paul the Apostle. It was also pastored by Timothy. Then it was pastored by John the Apostle. Even Jesus gave a special message to the church and Revelation 2 and commended them for their discernment, for their perseverance, for their enduring hardships, for their sound doctrine. But along the line, sabi ng Panginoon, I have this against you. You have left your first love. Your heart becomes apathetic. You don't love me like you loved me at first. Your love has grown cold. That church of Ephesus didn't have a moral scandal. Nobody stealing money from the church coffers. There's not one deacon lording it over another deacon. None of that. The scandal was inward. It was invisible. There was an apathy that was settling into the marrow and the joints and the bloodstream of that church. And Jesus said that what I have against you, it's that inward scandal where you don't love me like you did at first. Parang, ang tindi ng hinanak ng Panginoon na nakita niya yung isang church na doing well naman, seemingly doing well. Maraming attendees. Maganda yung ministry. Maganda yung leadership. But have fallen into that spirit of apathy where they lost the first love. So let's think back how good it used to be. How close we used to be sa presence ng Panginoon. Remember those days. Remember how much you sing for the Lord early in the morning. Sabi ng Panginoon, if so, then he said, take the second step. That is, turn around, change, confess your apathy to God. Repent, sabi ng Panginoon. Renew your heart. Do your first works again. This is how we can break the spirit of apathy or losing the first love or feeling cold in serving, feeling cold in following God. Our God is the God of mercy and the God of grace. And He will not turn anyone who will come to Him in honest surrender and in honest acceptance or acknowledgement. But Lord, oo nga po. I've noticed also na nanlalamig na ako. Ay, ay, pag umaawit ako ngayon, hindi ko na nararamdaman yung presence mo. I used to sing with the hands lifted up, with tears flowing, in my eyes. But now, Lord, it seems as I like 
just singing for the sake of singing. Amen? Do you miss that? Do you miss that? Amen. Shall we all arise? And let's sing to the Lord this morning. And allow God to revive our hearts. Allow God to touch you once again. Hallelujah, Lord.
We thank you for this morning. Thank you, O oh God, for helping us know what to do to overcome, to counteract, to fight against the spirit of apathy in our hearts, especially, O oh God, the spiritual apathy that's happening because of some problems that has surmounted us, because of some challenges that has overwhelmed us. Forgive us, O oh God, this morning. We ask, Lord, for the blood of Jesus to cleanse us. Help us, Lord, to feel your love once again. That every time we come to worship you, we'll be able to feel your presence. We'll be able to worship you with all our hearts. Salamat po, Panginoon. Sa araw na ito, right now we present our bodies before you as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable. Lord, we want to love you deeply and intimately. Some of us remember back to a time when our trust was really good. And we miss the assurance that we lived with, the joy that marked us, the spring in our step when we got up in the morning because of a new life with Christ had begun. We remember those things, Lord. And today, Lord, on this day, we decide we're going to confess our apathy and make a turn. We're going to repent of allowing life to get the better of us where we slip and slide away from that position of abiding in Christ and we renew that commitment to you just now Lord we pray that you will forgive us we pray Lord that you will use us once again we pray that you will show us what step to take as we learn information about needs around us according to the callings and gifts you have given us we want to be engaged in your kingdom we just want Lord once again to offer you this life oh Lord make it count oh God at one point Lord you ask Isaiah whom you shall send and he said here I am Lord send me this morning oh Lord wherever you need us however you need us whenever you need us here we are, oh God, send us. Thank you for this morning. Lord, I lift up to you everyone in this congregation who is in dire need from the simplest to the most complex problem, situation, needs, oh God. Your hands move. I declare break all those problems oh god in jesus name let your people triumph over those circumstances and emerge victorious oh lord in the name of jesus lord thank you for giving us the joy to continue this faith for giving us lord the strength to carry on as we see the day approaching this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Are we all blessed? Amen. amen. God reminded us po ngayon na, you know, kailangan na we have to concern in the church at sa mga tao sa paligid natin. Amen. I do believe kakilala na po natin ang bawat isa. Amen. Amen. Sige po, tayo po yung magpatuloy na magpuri sa Panginoon. Hallelujah.
to see your grace to bring to you an offering I have to ask myself one thing how can I do anything but pray to thank you and here I am a life you change because you gave your life for me your son was crucified for me how can I do anything but pray po ang bawat isa po sa atin ay na-bless po tayo. Ano? And, and I, I believe, na-remind po ako dun sa word na apathy. At napakaganda pong gamitin sa umagang ito na yung apathy, yung walang pakialam, ano po. So sa umagang ito, I know and I believe ang bawat isa po sa atin, tayo ay may pakialam sa atin pong panambahan sa pamamagitan po ng pagbibigay ng ating mga ikapu. Ano po? So napakabuti po, ano? So habang nagsasalita po si atin Nurin, ah, napakaganda ng salitang ito. Hindi lang po ito ginagamit doon sa walang pakialam kung ano nangyayari sa church. Higit sa lahat po, may pakialam po tayo. Higit sa lahat po, sa pamamagitan po ng ating pananalapi. At sa so, umagang ito, kayo pong lahat ay inaanyayahan kong makibukas po sa akin sa aklat ng Malakias 3, verse 8 po. Basahin po natin ito hanggang ikalabing isa. Ano po? Ayan. Alam ko po ang bawat isa ay very familiar in this... Uh, Bible verse po. Ano po? Sige po, simulan po natin ang uh, talatang ikwalo. Sabi pong ganoon, Will I mere, uh, NIV version po ito ha? Will I mere mortal rob God? Yet, you rob me. But you ask, how are we robbing you? In tithes and offering. So mamaya ko po babasahin yung susunod. So napakaliwanag po ng sinabi ng salita ng Diyos. Alam niyo po, hinahanap ko po yung Naghahanap po ako ng ibang salita para dun po salitang rab. Na pwede bang palitan ng mas maganda-gandang word. So balit ano niyo po, kapag binasa niyo po yung salitang rab, masakit yung katotohanan. Uh, nung binabasa ko siya kanina na 
ninanakawan, ninanakawan. Sabi ng Panginoon, pero sabi ng Lord nga po, ninanakawan. Ninanakawan nga ba natin ang Panginoon sa umagang ito sa buhay natin? Tanungin po natin yung ating mga sarili. Kasi sinasabi po ng salita ng Diyos, ano po napakalinaw. Napakalinaw po ng kanyang sinasabi. Sabi po dito, uh, yet you rob me, but you ask, how do we rob you? Paano daw po natin ninanakawan ng Panginoon? Tagalogin ko po, pasensya po sa salita. Pero ito po yung katotohanan. Paano daw po natin ninanakawan ng Panginoon? Sa so, pamamagitan po ng hindi natin pagbibigay ng ating ikap po. Masakit po ang katotohanan. Subalit sa umagang ito, ay dapat po malaman ng lahat. Ito para po tayong lahat ay makalaya. Ano po? Maaaring sabihin nyo ate, ang sakit naman ng salita. Subalit ito po ay nasa Biblia. Hindi po nang galing sa akin. Nang galing po ito sa base po sa salita ng Diyos. Ang sabi po ganun sa susunod na, na talata, sa number 9 po, you are under a curse. Ay, ay, sakit po ano? You are under a curse. The whole, sabi po ganun, you are under the curse. The whole nation of you, because you are robbing me. So, pag sinabi niyong under the curse, masakit po ano? Imagine mo, isusumpa ka. You are under a curse. Ang buong, ang buong nation, Bakit? Ninanakawan mo ako. Bakit hindi ka susumpa kasi ninanakawan mo ako? Diba? Ang Panginoon po nagsasalita. Sabi po sa susunod na versikulo, Because you are robbing me. Sa number 10 po, but, sabi po ng ganun, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be put in my house. Tell me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see, if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that you will not have room enough for it. Sabi po ng Lord dito, test me. Kahit magbasa po kayo kahit saan sa Bible, dito sa salita pong ito nakita natin na ang Lord ay nagsabing, test me. Dito po ang Lord nagpasubok. Subukan daw po natin ang Panginoon. Subukan po natin silang, nating lahat ang Panginoon sa umagang ito. At ano pong pangako ng Panginoon? Sa mga susunod pong versikulo, sabi po niya, I will prevent pests from devouring your crops and the vines in your fields will not cast their fruit, says the Lord Almighty. Di ba po, praise the Lord, napakaganda po ng kanyang pangako sa bawat isa po sa atin. Subukan po natin. Naranasan na po siguro, ang maaari po lahat tayo, naranasan na natin subukan. Sinubok na po tayo ng Panginoon for how many years po ba ang Kristiyano ang bawat isa sa atin. At naranasan natin na Lord, bakit uh, nagbibigay ako pero uh, nakikita nating sapat, sapat at sapat pa rin. So balit alam niyo po, napakaraming bagay ang ginagawa ng Panginoon sa atin. Hindi lang po sa pananalapi tayo nasusubok ng Panginoon. Kundi sa pamamagitan po ng kalakasan ng ating buong sambayan. Sa pamamagitan ng joy. Ano po yung unspeakable joy? Kahit hindi ka mayaman, simple ang buhay mo. Hindi magan, maaaring hindi malaki ang bahay mo. Maaaring simple ang trabaho mo. But the joy na ibinibigay ng Lord, but the, the health, the good health po ng family. Isa pong kagalakan, hindi po tayo nasusukat sa yaman sa pamamagitan ng marami kang pananalapi, meron ako nito, meron ako niyan. So balit tayo po ay pinagpapala ng Panginoon dahil nandito po tayo. Hindi po tayo makakapunta dito kung hindi po tayo malakas, mga kapatid. Ito po isang puhunan natin. Kung bakit tayo naririto, ito po isang biyaya ng Panginoon. na dapat po nating malaman at uh, huwag po nating naisin lagi na kailangan pagpapalain ako ni Lord, kailangan kung ano yung binigay ko, kailangan next week or, or sa susunod na buwan, meron na agad nakapalit yung binibigay kong tight hindi po. Kailangan kang subukin ni Lord. Kailangan ni Lord na tingnan ko nga, o itong anak kong ito, kahit magbigay ng magbigay, nakakaranas pa rin ng parang Lord, parang sapat at sapat lang. Kasi po nire-refine ni Lord yung heart natin. Kasi kung hindi tayo susubukan ni Lord, hindi natin malalaman na may toong, totoong Diyos na kayang i-provide ang pinakamalaki mang pangangailangan mo kaya pong ibigay ng ating Panginoon. At sa mga gawin ito po, napakabuti po ng Lord. Alam niyo po, this is uh, my first ministry po sa Pilipinas, ang gawain po ng pagbibigay, ang nilagay ko po sa aking puso. Niyakap ko po ito nung ako pinakakalala sa Panginoon kasi alam niyo po kung bakit. Ako po kasi ay uh, galing sa pamilyang mahirap. Hindi po ako pinanganak sa mayamang pamilya. At nakita ko po sa buhay, ang, uh, nakita ko po ang buhay na isang mahirap. 
Kaya ano ako pinakakilala sa Panginoon. Ako po ay working student po nung ako pinag-aaral. Tat- labing tatlong company po ang aking pinasukan to survive para makatapos po ako ng kurso kong nursing. Gumaraduate po ako sa edad na 25. Kapag wala po akong pera, humihinto ako. Kaya nung ako po nakakilala sa Panginoon, nag-aaral po ako, working student po ako. Pero nakita ko po ang kamay ng Panginoon kung bakit labing tatlong company ang pinasukan ko. Because of honesty, two tights in operating. Sabi ko noon, Lord, gusto, gusto kong tumatayo katulad nila. Gusto, gusto ko nakikita na kahit pa paano makatayo ko sa pulpitong yun. Kasi busy po ako sa, nag-aaral po ako sa araw, nagtatrabaho po ako sa gabi. Hindi ko po alam kung paano ko nagawa dahil ang nursing po, alam niyo, nag-duty yan. Hindi ko po alam, pero ang kamay po ng Lord ay kumikilos. Pag ako po natatapos na sa isa, may bago pong trabaho ang ibinibigay ang Lord. Hanggang sa humihinto po ako pag walang pera, mag-iipon, inabot po ako ng labing tatlong kumpanya para ko po marating ang narating ko ngayon kung bakit ako po sa harapan ninyo naging isang nurse. Ano po? At bihaya po ng Lord, daladala ko po sa aking paglaki na itong ministry ay ang gawin kong ministry. Kasi lagi ko pong naririnig kapag umaaten po ako, nasa JIL Pasig po ako, doon po ako nag-grow. Lagi sinasabi na aming pastor, si Pastor Robert Galera po, na ang ministry daw po, kapag gusto mong makatulong sa pamamagitan po ng tights and offering, wala ka pong ministry na hinahawakan kahit nakuopo ka dyan. Nilalagay ko po sa isip ko, Maraming nararating ang pera ang ibinibigay po natin. Kaya ang JL po napakarami pong bansa na narating at nakita niyo ang bansa na ang bansang Pilipinas. Nakita niyo kung saan-saan dumadako ang pinadadala po ng ating ministry. Kung bakit po sila nasusuportahan because of our tights and offering. Kaya huwag niyo pong maliitin na kayo ay nakaupo lang. Wala akong bahagi sa ministeryo ng Panginoon. Meron po kayong bahagi. Ang bawat sentimo, ang bawat reals na inilalagay niyo, ito po ay nakararating sa iba't ibang sulok ng teigdig upang marami po ang makakilala. Kung wala, pong, wala po tayong binibigay na tithes and offering, wala pong hahayo. So nagagamit po ito. Kaya napakasarap pong ministry, walang nakakakita. So balit yung puso mo, yung puso mo, yung obedient heart mo, ito po yung puhunan natin kung bakit tayo natututong mag tithes and offering. Nilakaran po namin itong mag-asawa 20, 27 years po na kami po ng aking asawa being partner of JIL sumula nung kami po ikasal after po na nagkaroon kami ng negosyo ay being partner of JIL sa Pilipinas po for the glory of God may milestone po sa aking pagbibigay kapag tinitingnan ko po siya tinitingnan ko misa sasabihin oy marami ka na sanang napundar kung yung ay ibinigay mo kung hindi mo yan ibinigay sa gawain ng Panginoon kasi malaking halaga na no hindi po yan kabawasan sa amin, hindi kabawasan sa akin. Bakit po? Eh, ibinibigay ko yan sa hari ng mga hari at Diyos ng mga Diyos. So, ano, saan ka pa? So, wala po tayong dapat. Tandaan niyo po mga kapatid, wala po kayong dapat panghinayan. I am a living testimony. I am from scratch. Wala po ako. Ako pinangarap lang. Nangarap ako ng isang bagay, ng isang bagay na nawa makatapos ako, nawa magkaroon ako ng maayos na pamilya. Nawa, Lord, magkaroon ako ng, ng ganito. Matagal po yung proses, hanggang isang araw na lang nakita ko, nagising na lang ako, ay ito na yung binigay sa akin ni Lord. Ito na yung binibigay sa aking mga anak. At nakita ko po, alam niyo po, pag ang mat- magulang po ay matuwid, it will run into your children. Alam niyo po, kapag ang, ang hots po kasi, kapag yan ay may bara, hindi po yan tat- aayos ng agos, hindi po siya dadali ng maayos, it will run to your children. Kapag ang magulang naging matuwid, lalo na po sa pagbibigay ng ikapu, ito po ay aagos, aagos, hanggang sa ikakapuhan ninyo, hanggang sa saling-saling lahi. At nakikita nyo kung paano ang inyong anak ay pinagpapala. Sa akin, sa akin po, sabi ko, ako, may edad na ako. Yung anak ko na lang po, maligaya na po. Ako, makita ko silang nananagumpay, pinagpapala ng Diyos. Okay na po ako doon kasi anak ko sila, supling ko sila. Kaya natutuwa po ako sa Panginoon for the glory of God. Ako po ay na-bless dahil po si Cyrus po ay kasi nag-resign sa Hamad, bumalik po siya sa Hamad, and then nag-apply po siya ulit. Ano? Nakakagulat po, nag, uh, po siya ng, uh, nagkaroon po sila ng, uh, nagkaroon po ng salary offer sa aking anak at nagulat po ako. And the Lord reminded me, dahil sa magulang na itinuro mo yung tamang pagbibigay ng ikaw po, yun po ay mangyay, ay magraran po sa ating mga anak. Kaya ako po ito tuwa sa Panginoon for the glory of God. Salamat po dahil uh, si Cyrus po ay may trabaho na po. He will be soon join us in Hamad po. Ano po? To God be all the glory po. Sige po tayo ay yumuko at pumikit. At minsan pa na ilagay po natin yung ating mga kamay sa ating puso. Dami natin yung tibok ng ating puso. Ito ba ito may tibok? Para maibigay natin yung nararapat sa Panginoon. 
Ano ba laman ng ating puso sa umagang ito? Nagnanais ba tayong makapagkaloob sa ating Panginoon? Sa umagang ito, sa mga hindi pa po, wala pa po kayong mga blue envelope, maaari hindi pa po kayong nagnanais na makapagbigay sa umagang ito. I'm encouraging everyone to give your tithes and offering sa ating Panginoon. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Dakilang Diyos, maraming marami pong salamat, Ama, sa umagang ito, sapagkat pinangyari mo minsan pa na mangyari at magana, Panginoon, ang gawain ito, ang tithes and offering, O God, to remind us, O God, kung, ka, kung gaano ka naging kabuti, Panginoon, sa buhay po ng bawat isa. At tunay nga na, Lord, sa oras na ito, patuloy po namin itinataas ang gawain ito, O Lord, at sa mga kapatid ko, Lord, sa umagang ito, na patuloy nga na nagiging bahagi, nagiging partner ng GIL ministry sa umagang ito, I pray that you will continue to bless them, Panginoon. Punuin mo po ang kanilang mga kaban, Panginoon. Punuin mo ang kanilang mga sisidlan, O Lord. At ayaan mo, O Lord, na patuloy na bumuhos ang naguumapaw na pagpapala buwat dyan sa kalangitan. At patuloy na lang maranasan, Panginoon, the, the, the overflowing blessing, Panginoon, na nagmumula sa iyo, O God. Maraming maraming pong salamat, Ama, at maging sa mga kapatid ko sa umagang ito na wala po silang kakayanan na makapagbigay. I pray, Panginoon, na magpuprovide ka po, Panginoon, ng magandang trabaho, ng maayos na sweldo, Panginoon, sa buhay po ng aking mga kapatid. Maraming maraming po salamat. At sa oras na ito, Panginoon, tinataas po namin ang bawat salapi, ang bawat titan offering na malilikom sa umagang ito. Pagpalain mo nga po ito, Panginoon. Let there be a miracle of multiplication, O God. Upang sa ganun, O God, marami pang kaluluwa ang marating nito. Marami pang bansa, Panginoon, ang marating nito, O God. Upang sa ganun, marami pang makakilala at tanggapin ka, Panginoon, bilang Diyos at sariling tagapagligtas. Marami marami po salamat. Tama, maging sa bawat naghahawak Panginoon ng pera, ng pananaping ito, O God. Hayaan mo nga, O God, na bigyan mo po ang bawat may kaugnayan sa pananalaping ito, O God, ng isang pusong tapat, O God, na tunay na handang ipagtanggol, Panginoon, at handang lakaran, Panginoon, ng ministeryo, ng gawain ng finance ministry, O God. Marami, marami po salamat, Ama. Tunay nga na, Lord, sa oras po ng aming pagbibigay, Panginoon, hayaan mo, O God, na ibigay po namin ang lahat-lahat sa iyo na naandun po yung isang pusong tapat, O God, na, tap, na nagmamahal sa iyo, O God. Marami pong salamat, Ama. Minsan pa, we bring back you, Lord, all the praises, all the honors, all the thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Ang lahat po ng anak ng Diyos na handang magbigay ay magsabi ng Amen, amen and Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Aklat ng mga awit 91. Ang sino mang nananahan sa piling ng kataas-taasang Diyos na makapangyarihan ay kakalingain niya. Masasabi niya sa Panginoon, kayo ang kumakalinga at nagtatanggol. Kayo ang aking Diyos na pinagtitiwalaan. Tiyak na ililigtas kaniya sa bitag ng masasama at sa mga nakamamatay na salot. Iingatan kaniya gaya ng isang ibong iniingatan ng kanyang mga inakay sa lilim ng kanyang malabay na pakpak. Iingatan ka at ipagtatanggol ng kanyang katapatan. Hindi ka dapat matakot sa mga bagay na nakakatakot o sa palaso ng mga kaaway o sa sakit at sa mga salot na sumasapit sa gabi man o sa araw. Kahit libo-libo pa ang mamatay sa paligid mo, walang mangyayari sa iyo. Makikita mo kung papaano pinaparusahan ang mga taong masama. Dahil ginawa mong kanlungan ng Panginoon, ang kataas-taasang Diyos na aking tagapagtanggol. Walang kasamaan, kalamidad o anumang salot na darating sa iyo o sa iyong tahanan. Dahil uutusan ng Diyos ang kanyang mga anghel upang ingatan ka saan ka man magpunta. Bubuhatin ka nila upang hindi masugatan ang iyong mga paa sa bato. Tatapakan mo ang mga liyon at ang mga bandag na ahas. Sinabi ng Diyos, ililigtas ko at iingatan ang umiibig at kumikilala sa akin. Kapag tumawag siya sa akin, sasagutin ko siya. Sa oras ng kaguluhan, sasamahan ko siya. Ililigtas ko siya at pararangalan. Bibigyan ko siya ng mahabang buhay at ipakikita ko sa kanya ang aking pagliligtas. Sa Diyos ang karangalan at papuri. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Praise the living God. Pumalakbak po ang gutom.
Ah, dami na. Huli. Okay, praise, the, praise God. So, before we are dismissed temporarily, just some quick announcements po, ano? So, uh, we would like to welcome our first-timers and all attendees. Napakadami po yung listahan ko, oh. Ang dami. So, tatawagin po natin sila isa't isa. We'll call each of them by their names and who invited them. And can you just smile and wave? Amen. Sa inyo po mga kapatid. Okay po? So, uh, first... Yung ating pong first uh, invitee is si Sister Susana Domingo. Ayan, nasan po si Sister Susana Domingo? Amen. Invited by Sister Jennifer Igot from Dohail. Ayan, first timer po natin. And uh, next po natin is Sister Marie uh, Baladad. Ayan, smile and wave. Invited by Sister Joan Gambala of JL Industrial. She's a guest. Okay, so next po is Sister Michelle Ubaob. Ayan, hello sister. Invited by Sister Lilian Villamot from Alcor. Ayan, ang dami pong invited ni Sister uh, Lilian Villamot. Uh, also, Brother Jerry Serrano. Ayan, welcome Brother Jerry. Also invited by uh, Sister Lilian. Uh, as well as uh, Sister... Rona Basal. Ayan. Rona Luisa Basal. Also invited by Sister Lilian. And lastly, Sister Teresa Atnain. Also invited by Sister Joan Gambala of JL Industrial. Okay, so we are welcoming you to Jesus is Lord Church, State of Qatar. We are a non-sectarian, non-denominational, full gospel church based here in the State of Qatar. And as such, uh, just a couple of reminders as well. We are continuing with our with our mandate, with our uh, campaign, uh, which we call Humayo para kay Kristo sampung tao hanggang pagsapit ng Pasko. This is a call to evangelize. This is a call to invite our friends, uh, our loved ones, um, even our uh, relatives in the Philippines to, to be with us until Christmas. No, In English, this is to bring 10 people to Christ until Christmas. Uh, diba? I just thought of that right now. Okay, so uh, we will watch a couple of videos of our uh, previous uh, church activities. The first one is our CYN. Okay.
ko yung mga laro, yung mga, yung mga connections. Actually, yeah. na-enjoy ko po lang natin. Salamat po sa Panginoon dahil nagtipunti po tayo dito. At nagkaroon ng bonding and moments na rin po pati sa uwi ngayon na si Kuya David po. I enjoyed how I was able to bond with other people and meet new people and make more memories. Yung game. The game. The party and the, yeah, the party game. Food. I enjoyed everything. Voila. <laughs>
ayan po yung kanilang uh, idideclare that they are courageous queens on their own right. Ayan po ay August uh, 19, 4 p.m. dito po sa ating uh, House of Prayer, HP Villa. Okay? So, uh, just a couple of reminders po, bago po tayo mag ay uh, meron pa rin po tayong ginaganap na local church activity per outreach. Uh, can you just ask your uh, coordinators kung anong oras po ito? Because, uh, Iba-iba po ang timings ng uh, per outreach po natin. And of course, kung wala pa po kayong live group network, especially po for our new uh, invitees, attendees, and guests, uh, just ask who invited you and they will uh, coordinate it with their coordinator so they can um, arrange for you to join a live group network uh, that will help you grow spiritually and be mature as a Christian. And last two, uh, Reminders, uh, we, we have our weekly prayer gatherings, which is online and face-to-face. -face. Um, uh, and we have a Qatar White prayer gathering every last Tuesday of the month. This is Zoom and face-to-face. -face. And of course, our ITAL classes. Later on, ay uh, magkakaroon po ng uh, practical exhortation, yung ating pong uh, batch 3 ng ITAL. So malapit na po sila magtapos. And of course, ay, uh, yung ating pong Friday worship and healing services for the glory of God. Two services na po tayo, 9 to 11, which is uh, uh, in person and online. And we have a second service, which is 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. This is only in person. So for those of you who are busy in the morning, you can join in the afternoon. Amen. So uh, glory to God. At muli po ipalakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Amen. Can we all rise? When I stand, I stand in love you. I stand, I stand in love you. Holy God to whom all praise. Tutunan din po namin, Panginoong, maging concern sa mga nasa paligid po namin. Salamat o Diyos sa mensahera mo na siyang ginamit ang buhay ng atin o rin. Dalangin namin po, Panginoon, na pagpalain mo siya, Panginoon, ang buong sambayan niya, even o God, yung tubig at kanyang hapagkainan, huwag mo silang pagkukulangin o God. Ganon din po, Panginoon, sa mga kapatid po namin naririto na, na mayroon pong mga daladalang panalangin o God. Dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na katagunan mo nga po ito o Diyos at sila po Panginoon ay uuwi na nadaladala po Panginoon yung katugunan, daladala po Panginoon yung kagalingan, higit sa lahat Panginoon, daladala yung pag-asa at kagalakan na tanging sa iyo lamang ito nagmumula o God salamat din po o Diyos 
sa mga sasakyan na, na siyang gagamitin mo, maghahatid sa amin po mga kanya-kanyang tirahan, O God. Dalangin po namin, O God, na let the full package of blessing ay patuloy ng maranasan ng bawat isa sa amin, O God, as we dismiss, O God, with thy love, O God, sa lugar na ito. And we declare, O God, the, the love of the Father, the, the grace of the Son, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us always, now and forever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah! Tunay nga pong napakasarap na maglingkod sa Panginoon. Amen po ba? Amen! Hallelujah! We glorify your name, Jesus! Yes, Lord! Kami po'y maglilingkod sa inyo, Panginoon, ang may kagalakan sa aming mga punto. Habang pinubulay Ko ang iyong mga salita Habang minamastan ko Mga gawa mong kahahanga Ganda ng araw sa umaga At sa gabi may ningning ang mga tala Lahat ng to'y iyong ginawa Lahat ng to'y iyong nilingka Parang una Nandito may tigil, tulad ko rin Nagtipagpipigil, ito ay dahil Nalaman ko Masaya Maglikod Sa iyo, Panginoon Masaya Maglikod Sa iyo, Panginoon Hindi ko maisip Hindi ko mapila Ang iyo, Panginoon Yes, Lord. Mga ibong nag-aawitan ng pasasalamat Ang tulad ng ligaya na itinangin mo sa puso ko Araw-araw ay lumalago Pipitiling ang biyaya mo Biyaya mong pinagpupulaan Umaapaw sa kasagana At parang pula Nagpipo ng pigil Tulad ko rin Nagpipapipigil Ito ay dahil Nalaman ko Masaya Maglikot Sa iyo Sa iyo, Panginoon Hindi ko maisip Hindi ko mapila Ang iyong mag-ibig Masaya Maglikod Sa iyo, Panginoon Masaya Maglikod Sa iyo, Panginoon Hindi ko maisip Hindi ko mapila Ang iyong mag-ibig Jesus, parang pula na di pa pipigil Tulad ko rin na di pa pipigil Ito ay dahil nalaman ko Parang pula na di pa pipigil Tulad ko rin na di pa pipigil Ito ay dahil nalaman ko Masaya malikot sa iyo Masaya, maglikod sa iyo, Panginoon Hindi ko maisip, hindi ko mabila ang iyong pag-ibig Oh, Jesus Oh, Jesus Oh, Jesus Oh, Jesus Bless po sa lahat. Yes, the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. See you po next Friday.